almost okay. <laughs> it's 11.33 thanks Spectra <laughs> it's 11.33 and I was looking for ice because we got milk in our hotel room and the fridge doesn't work so we were just gonna put the milk in ice so I go out and you know I have this little metal bucket in my hand and I'm walking through the hallway and I can't find where they keep the ice machine and the phone rings right as soon as I walk past it there's like this phone in the middle of the hallway and it rings and I'm just like oh okay maybe that's not for me maybe that's for like maintenance so I just leave it and I come back into the room and you know inspector gets ready and he's just like yeah you know I'll come out and help you find it but you know I decided to go out again and phone rings again and I look at it and I'm like I experienced I've played way too many horror games and I know where this is going but let's do it let's take this quest so I pick up the phone and Lisa from front desk had been watching me pace the hallways and she said that they deliver ice so basically we got ice delivered and I got a creepy phone call Lisa was creeping you're always being watched. It was kind of creepy. Oh, right now. Thanks. This is such a creepy elevator. It's supposed to be vintage and stuff, but it's so creepy. I feel like I'm in a coffin. I don't want to be in a coffin. It's kind of scary. <laughs> and it makes these noises. Listen. Probably I shouldn't be saying this, but it feels like a death box. I want to live. Okay, so I moved indoors and I'm working on my uh, Martin Joe mask tutorial video. So, yay! Also, I'm alone in the hotel room. I cleaned it up a little, so it looks nicer. But, you know, uh, what's up? <laughs> Just chilling by myself. And I'm lonely. There's like a mass of pillows. I didn't really clean that. You can tell I kind of laid down in bed for a little bit because I was tired. But yeah, maybe I'll make some green tea. I don't like Keurigs, but you know, it's the best we got. Oh, also check it out. Spectro got me a Mirror's Edge water bottle. So now I can take this for when I go parkouring and I can be faith and yeah, that was just so cool. It's for your own board. <laughs> oh, look at the parking structure outside. It's Kinda cool. Spectro said it looked like a phoenix that was on fire. Or no, 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 no. It was a peacock that was on fire. Yeah. It's kind of morbid. Hey, Mr. Laptop. You should probably finish processing because I'm really bored. Spectro's back. Spectro's back. And we have food and I'm smelling it. You, probably, you guys probably can't see it, but I'm really hungry and I can smell it and it smells good. Yep. <laughs> so this is the reason why I'm vegan. Not really, but they're buffalo chicken strips, I guess. And they're so good. They taste even better than the real thing. So, yeah. <laughs> concert today it's a back to the future concert it's gonna play the movie and a live uh, performance of the soundtrack is gonna be going at the same time so it's gonna be pretty cool um, and we're back in the creepy elevator so yeah never seen parking this crazy before that's all parking and it's crazy busy it took us way too long to get here, but oh well.
some special guests here uh, who worked on the movie. Uh, I, I want to point out that the assistant concert master here, Mr. Mark Baranoff, uh, hey, Jennifer Parker. This baby hits 88 miles per hour. They're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel? <laughs> well, Back to the Future was huge for me when I was young, and so, I mean, I grew up, I've got this movie so memorized, every line, every inflection, every music cue, every sound effect. So, yeah, seeing it like this here with live orchestral score, augmented orchestral score, with extra music that he just composed. Um, was awesome, and the crowd reactions were amazing. Mm -hmm. um, 30th anniversary, so so cool. <laughs> oh. Hits me right in the face. Uh, uh, hold this for a sec. Sure. What he said. Hey guys. So I have a confession to make. Spectre and I, we got naked. Oh, wait. The drink! <laughs> I made this joke in the store and it was really stupid. I was like, hey, you wanna get naked? I'm really proud of her. <laughs> <laughs>